Hi. Welcome. I was the only one that believed in you. <laughs> Congratulations, man. You're just gonna change the world. And uh, the sharks love to show off their razor sharp teeth. But what happens when these great whites meet a megalodon? The sharks are bound to make a few mistakes every now and then. These are the deals that got away. Way. There. It's Jamie. Come in. Sharks. Wouldn't it have been nice to know who was behind the door before you let me in? My name is Jamie Siminoff. I'm from Los Angeles, California. My product is the DoorBot. I'm seeking $700,000 for a 10% stake in the company. Meet Jamie Siminoff. If he looks familiar to you, just wait. It'll ring a bell in a few minutes. Introducing the DoorBot, the first ever video doorbell built for the smartphone. With DoorBot, you can see and speak with visitors from anywhere. Jamie, what is your big invention? Mark, let's just say this is your house in Dallas. You'll see on the screen here that I'm projecting the DoorBot app from my smartphone to make it easier to see the demo. Now, just like a regular call... Hey, that looks awfully familiar. Jamie continues with a pretty epic demonstration of DoorBot. When someone rings the DoorBot, you can see them and decline if it's a, someone that you don't want to talk to. Hey, good-looking DoorBot guy. Hey, join me, and the next time you hear, it'll be... Pretty funny, Jamie, but Lori was not laughing. I'm gonna jump in here. I think that you have potential to do a lot more with this, but I'm not connecting to that this does enough at this time to distinguish itself as different from what else is out there on the market for the higher price point. And so for that reason, I'm out. She's the first shark to be a total bonehead and pull out, surprisingly. No one's arguing the quality of the product. I like it. I think you're gonna do great with it. I just don't see the progression. And for that reason, I'm out. Cuban is the next shark to miss out. Cuban usually has a better eye. What's going on with the sharks this day? When I, when I look at businesses, I look at the three tiers that get hit, luxury, mid-tier, and lower tier. I, I'm wrestling with where this goes in the market. I just don't think it's for me. I'm out. Come on, Damon. You're hip. You get it. Wow. Ed Dubrut. Personally, I'm a security guy, so the idea of having another access point at, on my house like that freaks me out a little bit. But you're pricing out $199. That, that price point is going to start dropping quickly as your volumes go up. For that reason, I'm out. Robert, the self-proclaimed security guy, is the next shark to swim quickly away. That leaves us with one shark left. None other than Mr. Wonderful himself. I'll make you an offer. $700,000. I want a 10% royalty. That drops down to seven after I recoup the $700,000, and I get 5% of the company's equity today. But, but respectfully, I can raise that money through venture debt or line of credit or something else. So. Jamie was pretty confident in his product to turn down Mr. Wonderful. Then why That's don't you, kind of why don't you counter me with a venture debt off? So I would do $700,000 for a 10% interest rate with a 3% equity kicker. No, I'm not interested. That doesn't, it, that, it's not, doesn't, it's not commensurate with the risk I'm taking. And rightfully so. If it hasn't clicked yet, following Jamie's failure on Shark Tank, he decided to do a little rebranding on DoorBot in 2015. Jamie turned DoorBot into Ring. Yes, that Ring. The Ring you see on almost every house nowadays. The Ring that goes viral for catching package thieves or solving crimes. The Ring that keeps the sharks up at night. Man, did they ever screw the pooch there. Ring ended up being acquired by Amazon in 2018. And with Amazon, you know you're swimming in the dough. Amazon bought Ring for $1.2 billion. Someone ring a damn bell for Jamie. There you have it, shark fans. Those were the sweet deals that got away. Hi, sharks. I'm Derek Paquet, and I'm a who, who, who? Hoosiers, baby. Hoosier. I'm the founder of CoachX, and I'm here today asking for $200,000 for a 10% equity stake in my company. After watching our next big miss, you might think the sharks were right to pass. How dorky. But don't judge a pitch by its cringy introduction. Everyone faces when they go out in bad weather and shiver. Or they could wear a soft, warm, and cozy coat, but then they have to babysit it all night. I, it was stolen while throwing down my favorite moves on the dance floor. I Derek really knows how to make the ladies blush. Let's let him finish the pitch. This is the security. It's just not organized or effective. With our innovative technology, we match a person's face to their belonging and type your name into the system. It's that easy. Shark Cuban swam right into the action and offered this kid almost before he could finish the pitch. She can now see a picture of the person and their coat to make sure she's giving it back to the right person. Offer is $200,000 for a 33%. 
because are you I have crazy? Relax. This is a great offer. Love the offer. You're okay. ruining the tank by giving this kind of money. Damon put Cuban on blast for his offer. Being the young kid that he is, Derek had to consult his other business partners about Cuban's deal. Derek has a point. It is a really good offer for a company that has done so little. Let's see what his partner says. Jerry, so we got an offer from Mark, $200,000 for 33%. You know, we haven't proven anything. We're here really early. Everyone else is going crazy that he's giving this offer. I think you're giving away a lot of equity this early in the game. I would pass. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Real easy for the partner to say no when he doesn't have to face the shark. Now Derek has to gain the courage to turn down Mark friggin' Cuban. But wisely, Derek decides to try and counter offer instead of straight up turning him down. I think the sharks really like that kid. Listen, Mark. I'm from Pittsburgh. You're from Pittsburgh. Don't be uh -oh. a foolish man. I think I should continue to develop it a little bit more. Whoa! Whoa! Turning down almost a quarter million dollars from Mark Cuban? $200,000 for 20%. No. Cuban looked like he saw a little of himself in Derek. Well, it turns out that Derek was onto something. Coach Chex rebranded and eventually became Chexology. And in 2022, Chexology reported annual revenues of $7 million. That's a lot of coats. Mark might be kicking himself today. And Derek will forever go down in Shark Tank history as the college kid who turned down Mark Cuban. Not only does Mark Cuban regret not making an offer to our next entrepreneur, they all miss the boat in a huge I'm Joe. And I'm Jake. Our company is Rocketbook, and we're seeking $400,000 for 10%. And we make notebooks from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Our first big time miss by the Sharks was truly out of this world. Joe and Jake from Rocketbook were seeking $400,000 at 10% equity, a relatively low amount of money for the bankrolling Sharks. So what product were these two spacemen looking to have funded? Nice. That's why we created Rocketbook. It's really just a pen and paper notebook but take notes in your Rocketbook and scan them with the Rocketbook app to instantly blast those notes to popular cloud services instantly organized for you. Cute. Hey NASA, how does the Rocketbook work? That's not all. Then they ask for help from one of the sharks. Always a classic move during a pitch. Draw some doodle, maybe your signature, whatever you like. Beautiful work, Robert. So that later oh, we can cool. make these notes reappear. It's from the future. <laughs> and Robert, you're going to microwave your notebook here. The only reason I'm microwaving this book is to erase it so I don't have to buy a new one. What's the matter with you guys? Mr. <laughs> Wonderful was the first shark to point out a potential problem with the sales of the product. We sold about 75,000 of these. So you have have you really? We have. What? The water uh, absorbs a lot of the microwave uh, energy and it slows down the heating process. This is the funniest, wackiest, most ridiculous thing I've heard in a long time. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> My fear is it's a great gimmick. We all know Barbara isn't the most up-to-date on her technology, and she told these guys to blast off. So I'm out. Guys, I don't get... I'm amazed that you've sold as much as you have, and I think you've got other sharks that are interested. I don't see it. I'm out. Thank you for Robert that. then followed Barb's path. Guys, I don't... This is so crazy. <laughs> so crazy that you can get millions in sales by nuking a notebook. In my universe, that's a dark force, an evil force I can't understand. I'm Kevin out. then was a little brutal with his rejection. I never ever would dream that anybody could reinvent a binder, a paper binder. I don't like that I actually have to take a picture of each page and then, you know, when I'm done, I have to microwave it, and put the water on it and all of that. I get how people <laughs> might like it, you know, one time. So for that reason. And after Lori pulled out, all eyes were on Cuban, but he seemed to be at a loss for words. Maybe this product was a little too alien for him. Guys, <laughs> just the microwave, isn't that what sells it, period, end of story? No, absolutely not. It, that digitally enabled paper and office <laughs> products. Guys, I mean, I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry. Do you know who it wasn't too alien for? The pen company BIC, one of America's institutions. BIC bought Rocketbook in 2022 for $40 million. Blast off, Rocketbook. Blast off.